knowing which home maintenance tasks are musts and which ones you can skip through can be tough. We've all got to-do lists a mile long, but some tasks are so easy and necessary, you'd be silly not to take on the challenge. Good maintenance means more shelf life and fewer issues. And when it comes to my favorite appliance in the house, the fridge, I'll do what I can to keep it in working order because that's where all the good stuff is. That's why today I'm going to show you how to clean your fridge coils. If you want to keep this guy humming along, regular refrigerator maintenance involves vacuuming the condenser coils on the back or the bottom to clear out the dust and gunk about twice a year. These coils are critical to pushing heat out, so removing the dust and dirt will allow them to more efficiently keep the inside of the refrigerator cold. Not only will this effectively keep things cold, but you'll be using less electricity, which saves you money and helps the environment. Now that's cool. You'll need your refrigerator, of course, but also just a few simple things you probably already have. Vacuum with attachments, a brush, a wash rag, and screwdriver. Your refrigerator probably has wheels on the bottom, so you should be able to do this with relative ease. Just be sure to go slowly so you don't damage your beautiful kitchen floor. Yes, you have to disconnect the fridge from the power source. It's unlikely that anything will go wrong, but when the downside is electrocution, you don't want to take the risk. Coils will be in one of two places, on the back or on the bottom. On the back, they should be easy to locate. Look for a metal grid attached to the back of the appliance. On the bottom is trickier. You don't want to upend your fridge, so coils on the bottom usually have a grate in front that you can remove, and then stick the vacuum cleaner attachment in there for cleaning. Look under the door for the grate and gently remove it. Once you get over the shock of how gross it is down there, start vacuuming. Use the brush attachment on your vacuum cleaner hose. The crevice tool might come in handy as well for the tougher to reach spots. It doesn't have to be pristine, unless you're feeling ambitious, but poke around all the nooks and crannies to get it as clean as you can. Way to go, you've knocked out a task that you should aim for completing at least twice per year. So grab a cold beverage, you've earned it. That's it, pet dander and dust bunnies gone in just a handful of steps. Wasn't that easy? You just took another step towards making your home as efficient as possible. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to see more handy homeowner tips.